It's honestly crazy how far a camera can take you. When I was introduced to filmmaking, it quickly became a passion. That passion turned into an obsession. I want to be known as an innovator in my career, and Sony helps me do that. The Tennessee brand is one of the biggest most recognizable brands in all of college sports. We've got such a large alumni base, student body. We've got a great campus. There's so many things that we need to capture and show and display the grandeur scale of the university. You know, with how big social media has gotten and all the different types of platforms, it's important to get the max out of your camera. I was shooting 4K at 120 frames per second in S-Log3, because that gives me the max amount of versatility when editing. The college football creative space is so competitive. There's people starting at a younger age than ever before. They're pushing the boundaries and some of them haven't even graduated high school yet. The creative boundaries are constantly being pushed every single day by everyone in this industry and it's extremely hard to keep up with but it definitely pushes you and inspires you to get better every single day. There are so many different pieces of content that we create here from uniform releases, practices and workouts, community events, team activities, team meetings. There's so many things that we shoot. So the ability to have a camera that allows uh, versatility for all of those uh, is very helpful. Obviously, everybody talks about the content that we create on game days, but capturing practice is also super important. Practice is a huge part of our job. We're out here a lot. And a lot of times we're the only way fans can see what happens at practice. Typically the gear I bring out here, I bring the Sony FX6 with the 16 and 35 millimeter lens, a 70 200 millimeter lens, and a monopod. I bring the monopod and the 7200 for when I want to get those nice, tight, slow motion, buttery shots. On the other hand of that, I like to bring the 16 to 35 millimeter lens, pop that on the FX6, go handheld to really capture that motion, really capture that speed and that energy and implement that into the video. This field is huge. A lot happens at practice and all over the place too. So it's really nice to have a cinema line camera where I can just take it and go wherever I want. None of this could happen without, you know, everyone's support and everyone's hand in the mix. And social media, with how fast it is and how much it's grown, it definitely takes a village to get all this stuff done in the way that we want and the quality that we want. It's important to have all these people in the mix to help out. Capturing the rich history of this program is really important. It's something that we take a lot of pride in. Thanks to our cameras, there's so much that we're able to capture and do that we wouldn't have been able to before, especially with the cinema line with the FX6 and the FX3. There's been so much improvement that we've seen, especially with things like the autofocus, the dual native ISO, just so many capabilities there that have just allowed us to push the boundaries and you know stuff that we can rely on when it comes to game time because you only get one chance to get a shot and so we need everything to be firing on all cylinders and thanks to the equipment that we have we're able to do so. Versatility is the most important thing in college football and the Sony FX6 allows me to do that. College football is very fast there's a lot going on in multiple places especially on a game day at practice there's just a lot of things you got to cover in a short amount of time so it's important to have a camera that can do it all. I mainly shoot in 4K 120 frames per second in S-Log3. That gives me the most versatility if I want to export a vertical video or I want to slow something down or speed something up or hey I messed up the lighting in this situation I can fix that in S-Log3. It's helpful to have a camera that can handle all of those different situations. It's important to capture those big moments because those are the things that last forever. Just like any family home video, there are things where it's like you always want to go back and commemorate a trip. When it comes to the big moments in games, those are the things that people are going to go back and watch for years to come. And you get fans, it's like, this is where I was. I remember watching this play. I remember this exact moment. Um, those are the things that live on in sports history. A lot of what storytelling is in college football is just capturing. Back in 2022, when we played Alabama, and that was a very short game because Tennessee hadn't beaten Alabama in 16 years. During that Alabama game, we came in at halftime and Luke looks at all of us and he's like, guys, we might have a chance here to film one of the most historic games in Tennessee football history. And that's exactly what happened.
Once that game ended and we won, it was so cool seeing all the different shots we got from different perspectives, different angles. We were just well prepared for that moment. From a style standpoint, typically we sit down and discuss like a look for the season. Our entire football department tries to have one cohesive look when it comes to graphic design and video. We try to make it as seamless as possible when you're looking through social media and you see a graphic or you see a photo or you see a video. Our orange here at Tennessee is super important. Pantone 151C is the best orange. The hex code is FF8200, <laughs> something that I've had to learn and know. And so it's very important to get right. The way that we do that is shooting in S-Log3 allows us a, a flexibility with differing lighting and so forth, shadows, etc., to be able to go in and post and have flexibility to really get our orange just right. So game day starts off by all of us heading to our office and getting all of our equipment ready, making sure that we've got everything we need. Then what we'll do is we'll head down to the media center, drop our stuff off and head back up to uh, where the vol walk starts up by the torch bearer, get some shots of them walking and the stuff that they're wearing, um, usually designer, things of that nature. And that's the stuff that, you know, our guys get to show their personality. So it's very important to capture that. Then quickly after that, we'll go to pregame. Pregame consists of guys getting ready in the locker room and guys going outside, getting ready warming up stretching for the game and that's where we get a lot of our hero shots that's where we get a lot of our detail shots a lot of times guys will stand right under that tee so we'll get them you know kind of standing there getting ready strapping their gloves on strapping their helmet up one of the biggest Tennessee traditions is slapping the I will give my all for Tennessee sign which is right behind me getting those details of them slapping the sign during pregame we're bouncing inside and we're bouncing outside so it's important to have that lighting dialed in our locker room is pretty dark so it's important to have that high base ISO. It's just really helpful to not have grainy footage. The ND filters help me a ton. When we go outside, all I gotta do is just press one button and I can have the settings and the lighting dialed exactly how I want. Right after pregame, we'll head into running through the T. If you don't know what it is, essentially it's where the band lines up in a T formation. The T will open and the second the T opens, our team will run through it. I like to get right behind a guy, follow him through the tunnel, and then run out through the T with him to just show the magnitude and scale of running through the T. When it comes to my camera setup, I keep it very simple. <laughs> Oftentimes it's, you know, just the FX3 with a monitor on it and a mic. For me, because I have to run with our offense, it's very important to be mobile. And then when I'm having to get these celebrations on the bench, I don't want to be hauling around a big camera with all the stuff on it. I want to be able to get in and move around people, maneuver. And so what Sony's done, what you can do essentially with the camera right out of the box, let alone adding just a little thing like a monitor so I can see maybe a little bit better, adding a mic to capture a little bit better audio. I mean, I don't think you need much more than that. Back in 2017, when I started this journey of filmmaking, little did I know that it would land me here. Getting to Tennessee and getting introduced to the Sony FX6 was really the start of my storytelling and you know professional filmmaking journey. It's crazy to think, but it's almost like a camera changed my life. And if it can do it for me, then you know why can't it happen for you?